without a doubt the easiest and best way to find trends or low competition niches for print on demand is going to be using something like a paid tool like Merch Informer, Sales Samurai, or something like that. But maybe you are just getting started or you're feeling a little bit burnt out on using a tool like that and you're just looking for some fresh ideas for how to find niches for free that are still going to do really well for you in your business. These are some of the top ways that I like to find free niches that have done super well for me. So make sure you stick around for all of them because there are so many that are super easy and still super effective that I continually make sales with. So you do not want to miss those. I'm Hannah and on this channel I share about all things print on demand and making passive income online. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Now let's get on to those free methods to find some awesome niches. You might laugh at this, but one of the best spots to find trending niches for print on demand and actually make a lot of sales is going to be TikTok. While this is not some place that I suggest that you just get on your phone and mindlessly scroll for a long time with the hopes of finding some ideas, but if you are already regularly on TikTok, this is definitely a thing that you are going to want to pay attention to. On TikTok, you have the ability to see what are some trending sounds, what are trending videos and themes, and you should really be taking note of these for your business. A lot of times something emerges super fast on TikTok and all of a sudden it has blown up in pop culture. TikTok has created a ton of new trends, a ton of even new words and phrases, a ton of jokes, a ton of different communities. So you should really be paying attention to what is doing super well on TikTok. What are those popular TikTok saying? What are those popular songs about? It is a great place to find niches. This is kind of a silly example, but a little over a year ago, I saw that there was this whole thing going on between millennial versus Gen Z and this whole thing about whether you should be wearing side parts or skinny jeans or whatever. So I decided to make a bunch of shirts that were kind of geared towards that millennial person that still wants to wear the side part and still wants to wear their skinny jeans. I created a few different designs and uploaded them to Amazon and Etsy and they ended up actually selling and doing pretty well. A lot of times some of these trends where there's a lot of emotion behind it do really well and people really like to feel like they're in on the joke so they will buy something for that. There are also a ton of communities that have emerged on TikTok where a side of TikTok will kind of give themselves a little name or refer to themselves as something. So that is definitely a thing you are going to want to pay attention to because if you can find out what those people are referring to themselves as or what are some jokes in that community, you can put that on a shirt or a sweatshirt and actually capitalize and make a lot of sales in that niche. Just be leery of not spending too much time just mindlessly scrolling because definitely if there's anything that TikTok can do, it can sucker you into being on your phone for a long time and not actually making any designs that are going to end up making you sales. So just take note of any trends that you find when you are scrolling. Try to get off as quick as you can and start making things that are actually going to move the needle in your business and make you sales. The next place that I really like to find trends and niches that I can compete in is actually on Amazon Handmade. This is a place that I don't know that a lot of people think of to find trending things for print on demand businesses. Amazon Handmade is somewhat of a response to Etsy. Amazon wanted a place where they could compete in that handmade market and showcase a lot of products that are handmade by people. There are quite a few print on demand sellers even in this Amazon handmade area. While it's super hard to be able to find what is going to trend on Amazon by just looking at the number one best sellers because usually those are just way too hard to compete on, I will go to Amazon handmade and just kind of see what are the types of products in phrases that are selling super well. A lot of times there's an amazing opportunity where there is somewhat of a product that is being promoted on Amazon Handmade and you can kind of run with that niche or idea. Say something is trending with a certain Christmas phrase on handmade products like mugs and wine glasses, you could in turn take that phrase and put it on a shirt if it hasn't been done before. I found a lot of great niches just looking at what are some of the best selling mugs and glasses and items on Amazon on handmade and then putting those on shirts and sweatshirts and selling them through Merch by Amazon or Etsy. This is definitely a great place to look for some fresh inspiration and you definitely do not want to be copying any of these handmade sellers. So just use 
this as inspiration and see what niches and types of items are selling super well, but do not just copy them exactly. The next place that I really like to find what is currently trending is Redbubble. So even if you don't sell on Redbubble, this is an excellent place to look for what are those trending niches that still have low competition. And the way that I do this on Redbubble is when you go to their site and you search something, it is going to show you what are some trending searches related to that. While when you first log on and click on the search bar, it's just going to show you the top three trending searches. You can actually go a little deeper in this and see some of the other trends that are emerging by just typing in a first letter of the alphabet. So you could just start with A, type in the letter A, and it will bring up the top three trending searches beginning with A. This means that there is a lot of sales happening in that niche. And what I like to do is I usually click on one of those searches and then I just see how many products are being sold in that niche. So maybe you type in C and you see that cat shirts is trending. You're going to click on cat shirts and you'll probably see that there are thousands of listings in that niche, but a lot of times you will get a trend that only has a few hundred listings uploaded, but it is trending, which means it's making sales. So that is definitely something you want to jump on. And while this isn't always the case, a lot of times if a search is trending on Redbubble, that means that it's also selling really well on other platforms. So it doesn't hurt to look to Redbubble to see what you should even be posting if you're just on Amazon or Etsy. It's an excellent place to find what is trending here and now in the moment. The next place you can look and find free niches is actually Google Trends. So Google Trends is super cool because it's showing you exactly what types of phrases people are looking for in the moment or across a certain period of time. There is so much that Google Trends can show you. A lot of times I will just look and see what are some of those trending searches, what are some popular things that people are looking for right now that people are interested in, and a lot of times that sparks my interest for ideas that I could put on shirts and hoodies in my print-on-demand business. But another thing that I also like to do is I will search the keyword shirts and then Google Trends is going to show you a lot of related trending searches using the word shirts. A lot of times it will show you a phrase with shirt on the end that people are looking for right now. This is definitely a great place to get some ideas for trends and see how high the search volume is for something. You definitely need to look out for things that are going to be copyrighted. Like right now, I just saw that a ton of people are looking for Hellfire Club shirts from the show Stranger Things. So even though there's a ton of people looking for that, that is something you're going to want to stay away Away from because it is trademarked and you could get in big trouble for using that. But a lot of times things are not trademarked and people are just looking for. So this is definitely an awesome place to look just for some fresh ideas and some shirts and hoodies that are selling super well. The next place to find awesome low competition niches and trends, I would be remiss not to mention, and that is actually my weekly newsletter. So every Wednesday I have a newsletter that goes out and one of the sections includes five trending or low competition niches that I think you should be designing for. These are always updated, always new and very fresh. I actually spend a lot of time looking for these for you guys and I try to include for every single niche that I'm bringing you a description of how I might approach this if I was going to try and tackle this niche. So it's a really great free resource for you guys. If you aren't already, I'll have a link to subscribe to my newsletter link down in the description below. So make sure you are signed up for that and every Wednesday I will send you five hot trending niches that you could make sales in that week. Along with that, my next favorite free spot to find trending and low competition niches for your business is definitely going to be YouTube. I have quite a few videos where I share some really great niches that I think you should be tackling, but there are also tons of other YouTubers that are creating weekly trend and niche videos just for you guys. So that definitely is a great place to start. I will say though that while I like to share a lot more evergreen niches that you could sell at any time of year. A lot of times some of these other videos 
are trends that are going on in the moment. So you definitely want to pay attention to maybe how many people have already watched this video so that you don't make something that is just way far gone and not even a trend anymore. So it's really great to be watching these videos as they come out. And a lot of these people are putting them out really regularly. YouTube is definitely a spot that I come when I'm just tired of using some of my other tools and I don't want to have to spend a lot of effort thinking about it. So I will just put on some of these niche videos. And a lot of times I've gotten super great ideas that I've taken and run with and actually made sales from. So YouTube is always a great place to look for some trending low competition niches for your print on demand business. I'll actually link my best niche playlist for you guys right here. So feel free to watch that after this video for some great evergreen ideas if you're looking for them. This next free method to find niches is actually more of a bonus tip for you guys. And this is to go to a physical store to find inspiration and ideas. Well, this isn't always a great way to find those really low competition niches that not a lot of people have heard of yet, because a lot of times if items are in a store, they have had months of research and development going into them, planning out something that is already generally loved by the public. But I do find that this is a great place to go to find what is selling well in terms of font, what are some trending colors going to be, what are styles of t-shirts that people are buying. This gives me great ideas in the creative department. So maybe you're not gonna find a niche that you wanna target, but you might be able to see that a certain style of script font is selling, that an oversized shirt is selling more than just a fitted shirt. A lot of times I will go and see what makes up a good design that some store like Target or Walmart knows is going to sell well. You know when they put something on the shelves that they have done tons of research and development on this, so they have predicted that it's going to sell well and they validated that. If you see that a style of shirt is being really pushed by a store like Target, you can probably see that that might work really well in your own print on demand business. Definitely this is a great place to look for some inspiration of how you you should be designing and formatting your shirts. I also like to see what are the prices that they are selling their shirts for? If Target is starting to sell most of their t-shirts for $25, that might be a good thing for you to know. And you can start to increase some of your prices because a lot of people are using physical stores as kind of their frame of reference, even when they're shopping online. If you find that your products are just way different than what are selling in these big name stores, you probably need to reevaluate that a little bit. I always love to just take a look at the t-shirt and sweatshirt section whenever I'm out shopping and I think you guys should be doing that too. If you are already starting to think about what niches you should be targeting in the new year, I will link this playlist right here where I'm sharing some of my best print on demand niches that you definitely should be planning to design for in the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.